Hello, welcome back to another Sunday School Bible class. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're on a lesson entitled, Love the Lord Thy God, Part 2. We've been learning about loving God, why we should love Him, and one of the ways to show our love for God through praise. Today we're going to discuss another way to show our love for God. Another way to worship God is to bring some of our money to church, because church represents the house of God. In order for our local church building and property to operate properly, it costs money. For example, the heat, electricity, water, phone, machines to keep the church property clean and safe, baptismal pool, choir robes, as well as songbooks, Bibles, Sunday school equipment, sound system equipment, furniture like pews, chairs, tables, desks, computers, printers, phones, paper, and other office supplies all cost money. The vans to bring people to church and the insurance for the church building and van cost lots of money. When we bring our money to the church, it helps pay the bills and buy the things that we need to continue to bring people to church and help the church run smoothly. When we bring our money to church to help pay the bills, God considers it as if you are giving Him the money and He is very pleased when people bring Him these monetary gifts. Don't you like it when someone brings you a gift? How do you think God feels when we won't bring Him any gift after all the things He does for us and all the things He lets us have every day? However. Not only does the Bible tell us that we're supposed to bring God some of our money to church, but it also tells us how we are to bring God our money. Do you know that God does not want us to bring Him any money with a bad attitude? God does not like it when we show off while we are bringing our money to church. When we bring our money to church to give to God, we should have an attitude of gladness and thanksgiving. In other words, we should give the money telling God we appreciate all the things that He's done for us and all the things He has given us. We should tell God we are glad to give Him this gift of money. There are other ways we can tell God how much we love Him. Spending our time with God in prayer is another way to let God know we love Him. Do you have any friends you love to talk to? Were you ever excited about having your friends come over to your house to spend time with you? Do you ever feel like you can't wait to go to school just because your friends are there? You feel like that because you like them. Do you know if you start spending time in prayer and telling God all kinds of things that you are interested in, you will become good friends with Him. Pretty soon you will be anxious or excited about spending time in prayer because you will feel like you can't wait to tell God about all the things that have happened. He loves when you do that. Not only does God like it when we take time to talk to Him, He likes to talk to us through the Bible. When we read the Bible, it is like reading a note that God wrote to us. He is communicating with us through His Word. Have your friends ever talked to you and told you some of the things that they have done? Have they ever told you about the games they won? or the things they have, things they like to do? Have they ever showed you things that they have made? God wants to do the same thing with you. He wants to tell you all about the things that He has done and also wants to tell you about the things that He can and will do for you if you trust Him. Unlike our friends, God never breaks a promise. He never lies and He can do anything nothing is too hard for God. Imagine having a friend like that. Have you ever been invited to a friend's house? Remember how exciting it was? God also invites you to come to his house and he gets very excited when you come. Coming to church instead of watching TV or sleeping late is another way we show God how much we love him. But of course, if you just come to church and don't participate, it would be like going to your friend's house and just sitting there not speaking to him or eating the food his parents offer you. What a boring time that would be. Likewise, when you come to church, unless you participate, it will be boring. If you don't participate by praying, praising, 
listening, participating in Sunday school, you will make God feel bad because you will be like the friend that just visits without talking to you. Have you ever helped a friend before? Did a friend ever need you to do something for him? Because they were your friend, didn't you want to help them? Helping someone is a good way to show them you are their friend. Do you know that God needs you to do things for him? Have you ever thought that helping the church is a way to show God you want to do things for him because he is your friend? Using our abilities, talents, skills, and knowledge that God gave us for his work can help other people come to know God and this is what God wants. Therefore, this is a big help to God in accomplishing his will. For example, the teachers who teach Sunday school are helping others learn about God. Have you ever considered that someday God might want you to teach others? He needs teachers, so that is a good way to show God you appreciate what he has done for you and what he has given you. There are so many other ways you can show your appreciation for God by doing things in the church for God. If you are talented, gifted, or skillful in any way, you can use this ability to serve God. God needs people in the church to sing about Him, play music for Him, draw or get pictures for Him to use to teach Sunday school, write articles for Him in the church bulletins, make videos for Him, something like you're watching now, operate all the different types of electronic equipment for Him, such as audio and video systems, as well as all types of computer work. The church also needs people to drive the church van to bring people to and from church. There are times when the church needs to serve people, uh, food to people rather, which means they need cooks, servers, people to set up tables, people to clean, and people just to take care of church property. The church sometimes needs people to build, paint, or improve the church building so more people can fit comfortably. Volunteering means working or giving your time freely without getting paid just because you want to help. When you do uh, when you go to school and learn as much as you can, you can use these abilities to make the church a better place and you can show God how much you love him. Finally, the most important way to show God that you love him is by choosing to follow him. When we follow Jesus, we will not be ashamed to tell someone that we believe in Jesus. We will show people that we believe in Jesus because we live a way that is pleasing to Jesus regardless of what they say about you, even though they might laugh at you. Showing God you love him will require you to make sacrifices. In other words, there will be times when it will hurt. You may endure other kids laughing at you, you may endure some loneliness, and you may sacrifice some of your money, time, and effort. For example, if your friends ask you to go out with them on a Sunday morning, you would refuse because you know you have to go to church that time. When you do things like this, you are telling God that you love Him more than your friends and more than anything else. This makes God very happy. Remember that Jesus gave His life for all of us first and that He arose from the dead. He will raise us from the dead someday to be with Him forever and we will never suffer again. So it will be worth it, all the sacrifices we make in this life. So be encouraged and show your love for God. See you next time. Bye-bye.